I'm going to explain to you how we use the concept of substitution in algebra. Now substitution, we need to understand what we mean by that first. When we substitute, we are replacing. Just like when you're on the soccer field and you have a substitute meaning a player is replacing another player on the field. Same thing here. We are replacing pronumerals with numerals and the other way around. We mentioned what are pronumerals? They are symbols or letters that actually represent numbers. So let's see how they actually work. In this example, we are asked to solve the following questions and we are told that x equals 2 and y equals to 6. So wherever you see an x, you put a 2 and wherever you see a y, you put a 6. Let's see how it is. We're replacing, we're substituting a pronumeral with a number. We're substituting x with 2 and we're substituting y with 6. Let's do it. 7 times y. We know wherever we see, we see a y, we know that instead of a y, we replace it, we substitute it with a 6. So 7 times y in reality means 7 times 6. 7 times 6, 42. It's that easy. y divided by 2, we know y is 6. So it is actually 6 divided by 2. 3. 3 times y times x. y is 6 and x is 2. So in, so in reality, 3 times 6 times x, x is 2. 3 times 6 times 2. And our answer? 36. Now, I want you to see how we have the x written down here. And we have the multiplication written there. You notice they look different. We have to make sure in algebra that our x's are written in this way. They look like a c back to front. One c normal and one c back to front. This is the way we write x's in algebra. Why? So we can differentiate, we can understand that this is an x, which is, this is a multiplication, and this is an x, and we don't get them mixed up because we use the pronumeral x a lot in algebra. It's very important for us to realize the difference. That so this is a times, and this is an x. Get used to writing your x's like that, and of course your times as normal. Very important for you to always differentiate between the two, the x and the multiplication. Here we have x times y. We know the x is a 2, and we know the y is a 6. So, 2 times 6. Our answer is 12. This is substitution. We're replacing our pronumerals with numerals. Here, 4 times x times y. 4 times x times y. We know x is 2 and y is 6. That's what the question is saying. That x equals to 2 and y equals to 6. Now we can solve it. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 6, 48. Let's see if you can do this one. 5 times 6 times x. What's x? Think. What's it going to be? Very easy. It is 2. So, 5 times 6 is 30. 30 times 2. Our answer is 60. Here, we have another algebraic expression. We can tell we have an x. It says 6 times brackets 8 divided by x, close bracket. Now we know we have to use the order of operations, which says you have to do brackets first. So after we substitute, we know that this is 2. So we've now substituted, we've replaced x with a 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. And then 6 times 4 is 24. It is that easy, guys. If you understand how to substitute, which is basically replace. Wherever you see an x, you put a 2 in this case. 
and you put a Y and you put a 6 instead of the Y when you see that because the question is saying to us whenever you see a Y it's a 6 and whenever you see an X it is a 2 in our examples here. Last example now we can tell that we have another algebraic expression we have 12 plus y all inside then 2 plus everything inside and then divide by 5 we always start using the order of operations with the brackets inside first 12 plus y we know that y is 6 replace the y with a 6 12 plus 6 is 18 We've completed the bracket inside. 2 plus 18 is 20. That's the answer for everything inside the brackets. 20 divided by 5. Our answer is 4. So as you have seen and as I've shown you, it is easy concept. And all you need to know is replace. We substitute by replacing a, a number instead of the pronumeral as the question is telling us. We're going to use this a lot when we're working with formulae or with formulas, so it's critical that you understand the concept. It is easy and practice will always make perfect.